will, won't, won't is the negative form of will, and we are going to see might, right? So this topic is actually very easy too. We use will, won't, and might for future predictions, something that you think is going to happen in a future, in a near future or in a far away future, it doesn't matter. So, first of all, the functions of will is to talk about future predictions that you are sure about. You feel certain that it is going to happen. And won't is the negative form, but it, it applies to the same situation of future prediction that you are certain about, about 100% sure. Okay, this is something that it is sure, certain that it is going to happen or it is not going to happen at all. So you are sure of this, right? So first of all, we have affirmative and we have negative form of will. There you go. So we have, first of all, our subject. Then we add will or won't, depending on your sentence or on what you want to say, if it is positive or negative. And then you have your verb in infinitive uh, or in its base form, right? So, for example, she will win the match or she won't win the match. So this, you are 100% sure that either she will win it or she won't win it. It's something certain, right? In this case, we're going to let her, she will win the match, right? And then we have, they won't come to the party. Imagine that Miss Carlita throws a party for Teacher's Day and I invite all of you and then it is, raining outside there is a storm and there is COVID and there is everything so I am sure that you will not be coming to my party so then I say they won't come to the party okay it's something I'm sure about and then we also have guys the second part interrogative form this is how we create questions uh what happens is the same thing we are going to exchange subject with will or won't, right? We usually use will in most cases. So you start with will and then your subject. See, this is what happens. You change will to the first place and the subject to the second place. So will, subject, and your verb in the base form. Base form, right? So. Will she win the match? Yes, she will win the match. Will they come to the party? No, they won't come to the party. All right, now we're going to see might. Might is different. Remember, this is certain and sure, okay? 100% sure. Something sure that you're sure or certain or confident that something will happen or it will not happen, right? Then we have may or might, very similar. So the functions for may and might are to talk about future possibilities. You don't feel sure about them, but it is a possibility that they, that they can happen, right? So we have the affirmative and the negative form. All right, so first of all, we have our subject, then we have may or might, or you can use just might or might not, depends on what you wanna say. Uh, you're going to use may or might, or may not or might not, right? And then the infinitive verb. So I may go to the party, I may not, go to the party, I might go to the party, or I might not go to the party. These we do not abbreviate, right? We do not abbreviate this. 
And um, it is a possibility. It is something that depends on something else. For example, I might go to the party if my mother gives me permission. I might not go to the party if my father doesn't give me money. That is an example, okay? Then we have, they may watch a film tonight. They may not watch a film tonight. They might watch a film tonight or they might not watch a film tonight. It depends. For example, they may watch a film tonight if it's raining and they are not going out. Or they might not watch a film tonight if they go to a restaurant. That would be an example. It is a possibility, something that depends on another event. Then we have the interrogative form, which is uh, not very common. We don't really use it, but I still want to teach it to you guys. We only use this for asking for permission, okay? Just for permission. May I go to the toilet or may I go to the bathroom? May I open the door? May I stand up? May I go to drink water, right? But we use may, we do not use uh, might, we use may, okay? <laughs>